Hello. How is everyone doing? Good, how are you doing? Doing very well. Thank you for asking. We're just gonna wait for a few minutes for people to come and join. Sounds good. We have a lot of folks coming in. Hello, Mary. Sean, Duan, Mel hey. Choice, Javier is also coming in. Hi, Ahmed. Hello. Hey, Ahmed. How are you all doing? Great. Let's it see is a can... beautiful day in St. Louis, Missouri. Great. We will have five more and then summer starts. Okay, that's good to hear. Uh, <laughs> I wish I could say the same for my location. I'm actually located uh, are... in Dhaka, Bangladesh, and we are expecting a cyclone to be crossing over. So the weather's pretty tense. Um, I just moved into Thursday, the 27th. It's 12 midnight. But anyways, Oi. I want to welcome all of you. I'm simply waiting for my fellow team rep, Estella, to join us yeah. whenever sh she finds it fit. So um, we do the... Uh, uh, Estella is here. here. Awesome. Awesome. Estella is a very good friend. Indeed. Hey, Estella. I think she's connecting to the water. Ahmed, okay. I didn't realize it was midnight for you. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually, um, uh, every time a meeting starts, I cross over to Thursday to a Wednesday meeting. It's quite uh -huh. interesting for me. Because uh, whenever yeah. I'm doing this uh, notes, I'm writing Wednesday, but it's actually Thursday for me. Right. Anyways, uh, yeah, it's quite uh, interesting. Estela, good to see you again. Yeah, Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. So, Estela, I'll give you the floor to start off things. Uh, why me? <laughs> All right. Um, well, hello, everybody. Welcome to... Um, to the design show and tell. Uh -huh. uh, we do this meeting once a month on the, on the last Wednesday of the month. Uh, and this is to showcase whatever our, our team members are working on. And also it is very helpful to ask questions. If you're working on something and you have doubts or, or, or you just don't know how to follow, or, you, know, you know, continue with it, you have issues. This is a great place to come in and we have a lot of people are here, I can see Sean, Javier, Channing, and, and Mel, that they are long uh, contributors, long time contributors from, uh, from, from uh, WordPress and they can really help you out. Anthony, I do not know you and Duan, I do not know you. Mary is also a great um, a long time <laughs> contributor <laughs> to, <laughs> to um, uh, I am WordPress. also old. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we are. We are from the uh, other generation, <laughs> yeah. and um, and yeah. So everybody, welcome. Um, I'm gonna open the floor for everybody. Uh, Duan and Anthony, would you like to introduce yourselves? Sure. Can you guys hear me? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Hi, everyone. My name is Dwayne. I work for Warrior Trading. I'm their lead DevOps engineer, and I work on a lot of their. Well, all of their WordPress solutions from theming to plugin development. Mm -hmm. um, I think one of the notable things I did at Warrior Trading was uh, uh, integrate G Gatsby or React into WordPress and uh, and being able to scale uh, WordPress to hundreds of servers using Kubernetes. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm very proud of that. Kubernetes and Gatsby are those. I know it, a little bit about what Gatsby is. Kubernetes sends to me like one of those things that I should know more about and don't. It's actually pretty cool because uh, so I work for Warrior Trading is a day trading education company. And whenever, uh -huh. like, let's say at 6 a.m. when the market opens here in the West Coast, uh -huh. um, we get about, be well, between s almost 10,000 users within, within a second. So the servers have to elastically scale all the way up to, 
I have it set to 180 servers. They call it pods, wow. but. Mm -hmm. And where uh, are you based? I'm based in California, uh -huh. uh, California, uh, 30 miles away from San Francisco. So mm -hmm. it's nice and hot outside. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what direction? What town? Uh, oh, I'm in, uh, uh, the town is called Brentwood. It's kind of like near Concord, Pittsburgh, Walnut Creek kind of area. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I spent some time in a, a Brentwood, but it was down near Santa Monica about oh, 30 you, years ago. You guys should, well, if you guys are in the area, Brentwood would be, would be the, the place to go to cherry pick. <laughs> yes, so there is. We're knowing about yeah. that here. Uh -huh. Of course, the Brentwood I'm in, close to now is Brentwood, Missouri. Ah. Um, we are slowly trying to beat uh, Alabama and Mississippi into for their uh, slot ads in most intellectually challenged state. <laughs> I see, I see. Uh, yeah. I'll share uh, my URL here. Well, our company URL, if you guys ever want to yeah. see how Warrior Trading works. Yeah, check it out, guys. Okay. Um, all right. Well, thank you so much for the introduction. Thank you. Um, Anthony, well, Anthony just said that he's a first timer uh, for the design meetings, but he's really interested. So you want to introduce yourself? Yeah. Hi, guys. Uh, my name is Anthony. I'm here, uh, coming from Ireland, so quite uh -huh. a bit away. Um, look, I work, currently work in Apple. I'm involved in a local startup for um, blockchain. And I suppose what I'm spending most of my time with around WordPress is I'm involved with a Coder Dojo club. So we try to move, let's say, from a try to make the creating the learning resources more inclusive by moving it from a markdown editor to actually using WordPress itself. So just kind of redesigning the blocks in the Gutenberg editor. So just I saw it pop up in the Slack. It was really interested, wanted to see what was going on, get to know a few new faces. Mm -hmm. So that's me. Okay, yeah. well, very, very welcome. Uh, welcome. Fa Fahim, Fahim, yeah, you are also a new member. I've not seen your face before. <laughs> uh, uh, would no, you like to I'm introduce not... yourself? I'm Fahim uh, from Dhaka, Bangladesh. From where? Uh, Dhaka, oh, Bangladesh. from Dhaka. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I, I'm not actually the new face. I'm uh, uh, participate a uh, few of, uh, yeah. Before, people, yeah. Oh, okay. People, yeah. Then I haven't been there, been here enough. Okay. And then, like yeah. I said, Mel, Channing, Sean, and Javier, and Mari, they are all old timers. We're all old timers here. Myself, uh, Ahmed, and myself are the, the, the team um, leader, uh, sorry, reps. And uh, we, are here just to help everybody. Hello, Javier. Um, now, do we have, I'm gonna open the floor. Any of you have anything that you would like to show that we like to share with us? Happy to hear from anyone? Uh, well? I could share something if you guys would like. Okay. Uh, but hold on a second, Duan. Uh, I just want to clarify something to you just, and, and the new work, the newcomers. Okay, what we do here, it has to be related to the software. What we are doing with the software, developing the software, not how we are implementing it on our work, because we give advice on the software design advice on how to improve Gutenberg, how to improve. Um, WordPress.org, for instance, um, that's what we do. We don't give advice on, and, and we don't um, take things on how you are implementing WordPress on your work. That's not what this is. This forum is for. Just wanted to make that clarification. Uh, and if anybody wants to add something more to clarify, Mel, you know, people that have been here for a long time, that's what we do. So. If now, if anybody is working on something that we had, a, we had a, last night, we had a feature freeze for 5.8. Uh, is there anything that, you know, got stuck in the way and we didn't have time to move it along? 
So for the most part, we were able to finish uh, adding patterns to the default themes um, back through, uh, I think 2012 was the earliest we've gone in this batch. Um, okay. And so the, the goal there is just to like add Gutenberg patterns to all the default themes in core. Uh, and so a couple of them are still um, getting merged. Um, we got an extension until Friday uh, just to get these in because um, we have been working on them and they're uh, relatively like minor uh, rather mm -hmm. than like, we're, we're not likely to introduce a lot of bugs with them. Okay. Hopefully. I mean, fingers crossed. Oh, wow. yeah. um, so there's um, talk about that going on in the core themes channel in Slack, uh, if anyone's interested in, in following along. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. That's that's good. That's good. Yeah. Um, I I'm gonna also I'm gonna put it out here right now. Um, I know Sean and John have been talking to. Is it John or Joel? I don't know one of them, uh, have been talking to, um, gosh, what's his name? I am so sorry about this. Uh, Kiyoshi. Kiyoshi. Filippi, Kiyoshi, yes. Uh, regarding this new um, icons that he wants to introduce, uh, I talked to him and I guess he wanted to see if we could um, integrate them right now. And I told him that like, no, right now is like too late. Uh, mm -hmm. Not even one icon can come in, nothing, nothing at all. Yeah. So he- to wait for five nine. Yes, so yeah, that's what I told him. I told him, mm -hmm. you know, we gotta wait for five nine and everything. I already told him that he needs to write a PR. He needs to write a post uh, where we can discuss whether these are approved or not. But I would like to ask you if you, Sean, since you've been in touch with him already, if somebody, can someone can kind of like um, mentor him on what the next steps would be and to see if we could, um, if, if his icons could be integrated. I mean, if they are useful for, for, for WordPress or not and, and, and they have a, a place in there. So if somebody could really mentor him because I really don't know the steps for that, that would be awesome. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah I've briefly talked with Felipe about about the icons. He's working on some more uh, iterations in Figma, um, mm -hmm. especially around the key. I think was a big one where there's it's yeah it's either like this big old skeleton key or this really tiny intricate detailed car key, and there's just not a, a, a great in between yet. So um, I think mm -hmm. there's some more iteration there. Um, yep. And then once once we have it there, I, I think it's pretty straightforward to get it into the Gutenberg plugin. Um, and then it'll get when whatever release, <laughs> probably five point nine or whatever down the road. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, he he has more ideas, but he said he wanted to first work on this uh, four or five that he introduced the first time, and he has more ideas to come. But yeah, like I said, I would really appreciate if one of you will you know take his hand and just guide him through. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll take a look at the Figma at some point. Yeah. yeah, thank you. That would be great. Um, anything else, Mel, Channing, Javier? Uh, um, yesterday and today, I uh, finally dove into the FSE uh, landing page challenge uh, using local instead of desktop server and uh, uh, the latest version of everything. And I had been... Uh, Reluctant, I had been recalcitrant because, why am I saying recalcitrant? Nobody wants to hear that. Um, <laughs> I spent my entire tennis career, you know, using short words and swearing a lot. And I'm in the car one day and I could, couldn't think of what I was going to say. So I said, oh, you know, it was kind of onerous. And the woman sitting next to me was like, onerous? You say onerous? I was like, well, not when I can help it. Um, <laughs> Um, but anyway, you know, when I did one of the early tests, uh, I came up with that thing we're not supposed to have anymore, the white screen of death. But I was very pleased that A, everything worked. Now, I seem to be missing some settings in the template editor that maybe I'm not supposed to have, but I'm not going to consider that anything is a bug because my setups are always 
weird, like, you know, I'm, I have plugins that other people wouldn't necessarily have in these tests and I'm, you know, adding things nobody's supposed to and I'm writing my own copy. So um, the one war thing that I've always dealt with that I'm really glad is starting to go away is that thing where every time you click the mouse looking for something, you add another block so that at oh, the yeah. end I have like 600 blocks I don't need. And I'm grateful to announce that it's only two now. Okay, well, that's a good thing. That's a great thing, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, well, Mary, since you are around, um, how is the um, about page going? How's it coming? Are, is it coming along? Do you need any help? Um, I've been steadfastly ignoring it until this week. So I'm going to look over on the component and at the mm -hmm. ticket. Um, okay. You have a designer probably, for it? Um, I, Ahmed, you had a guy who wanted to volunteer for that. He was originally going to start my sweet summer child. Oh, I was so touched. <laughs> but the idea is based on the jazzer that we pick, you know, and sometimes an hour into doing the release post on release day. Um, so, uh, but we'll get going on that. Now that we know okay. what's in, I just installed Gutenberg 10.7. So everything that's in that is in. Mm -hmm. And the best news is that we've got a, uh, spreadsheet going with the dev notes on it and okay, that's cool. always where i've taken the stuff now we know that everything on that is in the about page so now it's just a matter of doing surgery and figuring out what to promote okay and then you're not at the side designer of the about page who has got red hair and a blue t-shirt and a lovely new house in philadelphia <laughs> So I meant, <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. Yes, you may. She may be able to to work it out. I don't know. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, you can work on design this release. I can just let me know. Yeah, okay. it, it is up to you. We have we have a, a young it's man up to you to let us know who wanted to us. contribute. Who wanted to contribute? And I don't know if you would prefer to just mentor him and try to get more. Um, designers on the about page or if you prefer to do it it is up to you mel yeah i'm happy to mentor someone mm -hmm. yeah so maybe we can reach back, reach out uh, back to him i think he he replied on the ticket maybe cool. he would like to you want to reach out to him and see if he wants to um see sean is also one is happy to help on the about page so yeah mm -hmm. so you know it, i i'm I'm trying to open it up, you know, to more of us so that, so that yeah. we're not, it's not the same five of us having all the responsibilities for everything. Yeah. So, and I think that if we can mentor other people, that would be mm -hmm. awesome. Cool. You know, that would be great. So oh, yeah. I'll leave it I to you. I would love to shadow Kelly on the code of it, if she would be open to that, <laughs> which yeah. has a lot to do with my just shutting up and watching and listening instead of trying to t tell a new joke every five minutes. <laughs> All right, that's awesome. Uh, Mel also posted right on the on the chat the last call for the uh, the testing. Uh, stick the landing pages is for the uh, full site editor program. Yep, and today's so the last it, day to post feedback. Yeah, so that's the latest test, the latest uh, uh, testing call. If any of you have time, if any of you have the interest for it, we will really appreciate if you can go into it, into a try test. Um, any results that you have, please add them to the comments on that on that post. That's where we kind of like um, getting all our data from everybody. And I think that's how we collect, right? Yep. Um, Big shout out to Ann on all of her work. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. She's Much doing an awesome job. Yeah, she found something that she loved, and there you go. Yeah, um, she really, she's really doing it. Yes, Ahmed, you gotta hand up. Oh no, I was just clapping for Ed. Ah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Fahir uh, gave us also a meta ticket. Um, let me see, what is that about? 
Address block icon. Oh, okay. Um, you know what? This is a this is a good one. Um, maybe we can. Um, okay, I think that I don't know if we can. Uh, let me share my screen real quick in here. Um, I don't know. We can go through this. Uh, can you allow me to share my screen, Mr. Host? <laughs> um, before so, I get into this, does anybody have anything else they would like to share, present? No? Okay, let me let me bring this up and see if um, we can work through this uh, ticket uh, or at least have some information that we can add to it. Um, is this one um, just... E share that one except that I need to remove that from here no 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 get out of there and open up yes okay sorry um so it's a add responsive device icons on the theme preview at the bottom right here I'll give everybody a chance to to read out the link is on the um on the chat um if anybody has any um If anybody has any any comments about uh, uh, of it, uh, what the the customer, yeah. So I don't know. I don't really have any ideas on it right now. Like mm -hmm. right come on the top of my mind. Um, I don't deal a lot with themes. Um, but I know, I know you work with themes, Mel. It's like in the customizer already, so it seems uh, pretty straightforward. I think to add it to the theme preview too. Okay. Then um, would you like to uh, reply to this, Mel? Sure. Yeah. And there you go. What's the ticket it's, number? Uh, ticket number, ticket number. It's uh, 52775. It's right on the chat. Oh, no, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's not it. That's the, that's the about page. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's 5063. Yeah, 5063. Thank you for him. Yeah, you said it was a meta, ta a meta okay. ticket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, sorry. It was, yeah. Oh, because it could, which is all different. It's a meta, it's a meta truck. Yes. Sorry about that. Uh, so, yeah. See, this is what we use this 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 uh, this calls for this meeting, so that we can comment and we can comment, we can ask questions, uh, suggestions, and give advice. Uh, some have more experience on one thing, some others have experience on another. So we just try to support everybody here. Um, let me let me put Javier on the spot right now. Javier is going to he has volunteered to give the Figma workshop for um for uh, work camp europe uh, unfortunately uh we missed the deadline for the um live workshop so we're gonna try to do a pre-recorded one oh excellent and, and uh so that would be great if we can have it the theme the the, the topic is around how we use uh figma uh the figma component library uh, for to help us, you know, develop the software and everything. So he's got a few points in there. Uh, if you want to share it with everybody, Javier, I think this is a good place to clear up that list. Perfect. So my idea is uh, simply try to, to show, um, talk about some tips and tricks, uh, uh, do something very actionable, like uh, simple tips, um, you know, how to design, how to, um, how is that file, the Figma file, organized? Um, how can people contribute? Uh, how to start? So I'm, I think I'm pretty new to to automatic and, and WordPress in general, uh, and I think that's good for this talk because uh, I can orient it uh, for beginners. So my idea is to do something uh, very simple, very actionable, and just give some like a general introduction to how we design. There's um, a 
long history of, of course, what comes to my mind is um, of about page headers there, if you want to just, and given the timing, um, if you if you want to take people through examples of that, I think you'll see them going back to like ever, like, you know, four, seven or um, all the way up through five, seven and Mel's wonderful brush strokes. Because um, that's something that's really timely. OK, I, I, yeah, I think about that. Um, yeah. I, right now, I have just uh, a list of topics. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, um, simple stuff like how to organize uh, a file in order to, yeah. you know, uh, so that the design. Um, Simple stuff like uh, create a nice cover page or simple cover page, uh, yeah. a page with information. I don't know. So um, I think it will be nice to show uh, an actual example, something small, uh, yeah. besides the, the the little information about you know the general stuff. Oh, okay. We, we have we have a guideline on how to create already, uh, and, and it should be in Figma, right, Mel? A guideline that was written for us on how to create the 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 cover mm -hmm. page and what to put on the cover page. You remember that from less two years ago when we just moved into Figma? For the about page or something else? No, 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 for just for, no, for the Figma for the files. Figma yeah, the, the Figma cover page, oh, remember? Yeah. That it was the title and then the colors mean something. That's on the handbook, actually. It's on the handbook. Mm -hmm. You can find it on the handbook, that information. The yeah, colors okay. that, there the blue. Um, I think it's in utilities, maybe. If not, if not, it should be on the handbook. So you can get the information because the colors mean something like the, the red is a, a no go, the green is done, uh, the, the, the blue is that we're working on it and that kind of thing. So yeah. Oh, that's great. I, I didn't know those things. So that's perfect. No, but it would be awesome to put this, to, you know, yeah. to mention all these things. So that it would be great for 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 people to to know it, especially yeah. if you it's newcomers. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I could also use an update if anyone has time or inclination. Yeah. That too. Yep. Yeah. So what else? What else do you have on it, Javier? Oh, on the talk. Uh, let me so, see. Yeah. Um, I have a an, another idea is um, recommend people to avoid using plugins. Uh, I think it's not, it's okay. Like if you use a plugin to generate something, but uh, unless it's super necessary, I think it's better to uh, tell people avoid using plugins. Um, then another advice is how to ask for, for access, like uh, the mm -hmm. classic uh, um, question, how do I get yeah. access to the Figma file? Um, let me see, uh, tips for creating prototypes, like, simple stuff uh, just for instance like focus uh, your prototype on just one simple action or one path uh, sometimes and this is a mistake I, I, I made um, sometimes like I try to do uh, prototypes like super complex uh, that do like two or three things and I think it's better if, if each prototype just focus on just one thing um, how to ask for help uh how to suggest improvements and how to contribute com components uh these three uh these two last topics are probably a bit bigger and they are covered in the figma in the figma file but i think it will be nice to go through the process to the, the process of creating a component for instance and mm. um i also have a, another another idea which is uh when not uh, like uh, sometimes you don't need to design in order to 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 design, right? Like uh, sometimes the best way of uh, collaborating is just uh, help another person or give a plus one or uh, just say you know uh, do something in writing. And I think it's something nice to to say as well. This is the general outline of of the talk. Okay. Any suggestions? Ideas? We're good. Okay, everybody's quiet. So yeah, I guess I mean yeah. I, I read I read what you what you mentioned what you said to me, and I think it's good. 
Mm -hmm. uh, just try to don't go too broad. You know, try to focus on one or two things. If you're gonna give a tips, uh, just keep it on tips. Yeah. You know, how to use the, the Figma file, blah, blah, blah. And then, um, and that's it. Don't try to cover too much in one workshop because they are gonna be short. I, I haven't had the time. I don't, I, I don't have the, the answer about the time yet, but I think mm -hmm. that they are like, uh, like uh, 15 minutes. Okay. Or something, okay. That's yeah. That's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> then, then it's perfect. Uh, doing those, those tips is gonna be, yes, very useful, I think. Yeah, so, so yeah, that would be great. Okay, and then um, and that, that's it. We have less than ten minutes, so yeah. Sometimes you know we have our our, our uh, chats like this, um, and we just talk. Sometimes we have people showing things up, and you know we do a lot of everything. So um, if anybody else has anything, if if nobody else has anything, then I guess I can give you back. Eight minutes of your time, and Thank then we'll yeah, and then we'll see you next Wednesday on Slack, chatting yep. for our meeting, and uh, next month. Uh, remember the last Wednesday of every month we have the show and tell, so you can come prepare. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a good day. Good evening. Good night. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. bye, -bye. Bye guys, thanks. Bye bye. Bye bye.